What's good guys, Tiger here, and today I want to talk about what I consider to be the most important tip for preparing to play Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 is on the horizon guys, we are so close we can almost taste it. 12th of October, I have got it written down on my calendar, I cannot forget it, I cannot wait. Black Ops 4, we are so close. So close. I'm playing all these other Call of Duties, World War 2, Black Ops 3. I'm still having fun, but nothing is going to fill that space that Black Ops 4 has already provided. I don't want to overhype or try and like clickbait you guys, but I really do believe that Black Ops 4 is going to be a very, very good year for Call of Duty as a whole. And August and September and early October, we are in that period now where it's kind of like nothing is really exciting in Call of Duty at the moment. I have just got my hands on the new DLC for World War II and the maps, they're really not that great. But I think that is the same with all Call of Duties. I just feel like as the DLC goes on, the maps tend to get worse and worse. This is all my opinion, of course. This is just how I feel about the map packs. I think it is very rare that we find a really good DLC map that has really good replayable value to it. But anyway, what is this most important tip that I am talking about? This is something I noticed very early on when playing the multiplayer beta. And it's something that I am currently working on and it's something that I'm trying to emphasize in this gameplay that you're watching now. And it's about headshots and just generally aiming higher. Now some of you might be thinking, Tiger, that is obvious. We know to aim higher. That is common sense. We all know that headshots do more damage. For those of you that are trying to get camos, this is something that you're probably already trying to emphasize. However, I feel that we're going to need to emphasize it even more going into Black Ops 4. And let me tell you why. There are multiple reasons why aiming higher on the character models is going to be a lot more beneficial in Black Ops 4. So the first reason is there is a longer time to kill. So this means it's going to take more bullets than usual to kill someone. So this also means we have more time to adjust our aim and correct it to the part of the body that we want to focus on. Now, if you guys don't study your gameplay back, as in rewatch your own gameplay, what I would imagine to be most of you, because it's not exactly the easiest thing to go back and watch your own gameplay, because most of the time we just want to get in, play Call of Duty and have fun. So I completely understand why you wouldn't, but just obviously making videos, I'm constantly watching my own gameplay play back and one thing I've noticed about my aim is that I don't tend to adjust my aim once I'm hitting the person and this might be the same for a lot of you as well you might be in the same mindset as me where your only goal is to hit the person so if you are shooting in their leg maybe you're shooting in their shin you're less likely to adjust your aim because you're you're happy that you're just hitting them at the end of the day we just want to connect with our bullets we just want to make sure we are actually connecting and having good accuracy on the opposing player however I don't think that this mindset is going to work in Black Ops 4 because the longer time to kill is if we just keep shooting someone in the shin, let's say it takes six bullets, someone who's shooting you in the torso will probably only need to hit four. And with the way that predictive recoil works as well, we are going to have even more control of our gun and our aim, so we should be applying even more focus on where we are aiming on the character model. Another reason why this is so important as well is because of armor. Now I'm not talking about that stupid level three heavy the juggernaut suit armor we have in Blackout and Heist. I'm just talking about the normal standard armor that we have as an equipment in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. I'm sure most of us was using that because it was a very popular piece of equipment alongside the stim shot. Now the way that armor works is it only protects you on the body. It doesn't protect your head. So it means if you're aiming higher and you're aiming at someone's head, those shots are going to be even more valuable than they were before. Even if you do have the attachment AP round what is armor piercing rounds. Another reason why headshots are still very important is because this is another boots on the ground game. We are on the ground, there is no advanced movement, no one is going to be flying through the air apart from Ruin with his grappling hook. So this means we have even more control of where we are shooting our bullets because the opposition aren't flying through the air at really fast speeds. They're going to be on the ground, yes they may be jumping but we still have a lot more control and we can also predict a lot easier on where the enemy are going to be and in what direction they are heading in. So one thing you've probably noticed is I'm putting a red circle 
on my crosshairs so you can see exactly where I'm shooting. The only reason why I am doing this is just to draw your attention of exactly where I am aiming and where I am hitting people. And this is something I also use when I talk about centering. Centering is something that is definitely going to help you in Black Ops 4 as well. I'm going to make an entire video on centering when Black Ops 4 comes out. For those of you that are long time Tiger supporters, you know that centering is like my favourite tip. It's something I talk a lot about, probably too much, but it's so underrated guys. And centering is where you are positioning your crosshairs on the map. So as you manoeuvre around the map, it's where you are aiming your gun, it's where you are putting your crosshairs. So you want to put them in the most favourable spots on where you think that the enemy are going to be. And this helps a lot when going for headshots, because you're going to want to aim a little higher. You're going to want to make sure that your crosshairs aren't staring at the floor or aiming too low. You're going to want to try and line your crosshairs with the enemy's torso or head, so you can make sure that you are hitting the high priority spots because what you want to aim for is probably the higher torso so the opposition's chest shoulders neck and head that's the prime area on where we are trying to aim for because a lot of you might be trying to perfect this aspect of the game but you might actually be damaging yourself by doing this because you're aiming so high you're probably missing a lot of shots maybe above the head or just to the side of the head so I really recommend maybe first just trying to aim for the chest and like shoulders height therefore the reach coil will then bring it up to hit the head obviously this depends at what range you are and a move that I think is going to be very successful in close range this is something I'm going to test out when I actually get hands on in this game is when you are very close range and I'm talking very very close range as in like perfect shotgun range one thing that I believe that might be very successful is actually jumping at this range so then you're preventing the other person from getting a headshot on you and you have more of a chance at getting a headshot on them because you're then aiming down and their head is going to be easier to shoot as opposed to previous Call of Duties where drop shots were very successful in other games if you're in close range and you drop to the floor that is a massive change that the other person's crosshairs are going to have to make because they're going to have to move them from right in front of them all the way down to the ground I believe if we try and get into this mindset this mentality of trying to aim higher it doesn't matter what game we are playing whether it's World War 2 Black Ops 3 or another Call of Duty this is a tip that I recommend that we start doing in preparation for Black Ops 4. If you're interested in Call of Duty coaching, on Patreon I do two private live streams where my patrons get to send in their gameplay to me, that can be from any Call of Duty, and I will review it on a live stream. I'll provide tips and help you with your strengths and weaknesses to help you improve at the game. If I'm reviewing your gameplay live and you are in the chat, you can join me in a Skype chat and we will go through your clips together to help you most improve. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more, consider subscribing. But that is all from me. Take care and I will see you in the next video.